Hello everyone and thanks for joining. I'm so happy to be with all of you today. While I'm missing friends in person, the shift to virtual events has had a huge impact on making conferences like Apache Con more accessible to folks all over the world. And that's actually quite relevant to what I'm here to talk about today. So let's dive in. The amount of software that we, the human race, will rely on in the coming decades will grow exponentially. Our cars will continue to get smarter, software will help us diagnose, treat, and even prevent illnesses. It will help us improve the health of our planet as we develop solutions to combat climate change, food shortages, and resource constraints. And behind all of that is the open source community, a community that many of you watching today are a critical part of. In order to support this growth, to maintain the software we already have and create the software of the future, we need the open source community to grow too. We need more developers, more maintainers, and more contributors to help meet the demand for more new, ever better software. And what's amazing is how quickly we're already seeing this happen. So how do we, the existing open source community, support this growth? How do we pave a path for new developers and ensure the innovation and quality of this community grow along with its size? How do we give some of the tireless maintainers out there a much deserved break because burnout is real? To support the continued growth and health of open source, we need to attract the best and brightest contributors who can grow to be maintainers, unleash the network effects of each commit, support the interconnected community, and perhaps most significantly, enable local and global commercial opportunity through open source. First, let's talk about contributors and the importance of open source development as a viable career path. Today, there are 50 million users on GitHub. In five years, we expect that number to double. That's 100 million developers who are going to be critical to the acceleration of human growth in the coming decades. They're going to come from all over the world, but especially from developing nations where learning to code and contributing to open source is a path to economic growth and prosperity. This is a map of where in the world contributions on GitHub are happening. Six years ago, the majority of open source contributions were being made in the Western world. Over time, we start to see more and more regions growing in terms of contributors. And now you could see that in the epicenter that the epicenter of open source contribution is actually moving away from the Western world. As we move into the future, we see places like India, China, Africa, and Latin America really start to light up. There is an acceleration happening in open source contribution from outside the Western world, and this is going to intensify over the next five to 10 years. Let's zoom in to the impact that open source can have on someone's life. This is Sonia John, a blockchain developer, writer, and speaker in Kenya who recently participated in the GitHub README project. She was 25 when hyperinflation hit South Sudan and she lost her job and 90% of her savings. She felt like she had lost everything and was starting to feel desperate. In her own words, she moved to Kenya, bought a cheap laptop, installed Ubuntu, because that's what she heard programmers do, and taught herself how to code. She didn't have a degree in computer science or an internship with a software company. She had a laptop and she had determination. The first time someone offered to pay her for a project, she didn't believe them. But she built a messenger bot, earned her first paycheck as a developer, and discovered the enormous opportunity that opened up to her. Sonia's story is so inspiring. There are brilliant gifted people all over the world right now who haven't unlocked their potential to contribute to open source. As we look ahead to the dramatic rise in software development that is coming in the next five years and beyond, we need to seek out these folks and create a path to open source contribution and in turn, opportunity. We need to make it possible for talented developers to have a thriving, successful career in open source, to get paid for their work, to grow their careers, and contribute their talent to a space where it has the potential to have enormous impact. We've seen what kind of opportunity open source can bring to one person. Let's now flip that and look at this from the other perspective. Let's look at the network effect of a single commit to an open source project. 
For this example, we picked a commit to TensorFlow in June 2020. This is a real contribution by a single developer that helped improve TensorFlow, which we know is being used widely around the globe. More than 4,500 developers from 105 countries are working directly on TensorFlow and have built on top of the project, which of course contains this commit in the, path, in the four months since it was made. But this is only the tip of the iceberg. Let's now look at all the projects that have leveraged and directly depend on this version of TensorFlow. That single commit is now included in 23,000 projects and has been included in the work of 51,000 developers from 151 countries. The reach of a single commit is impressive. This is the compounding effect of a single contribution. Think about the exponential impact a single developer can have in their career. Multiply that by 100 million and just imagine what this community can do. I love this example of just what one commit can lead to. This is Evan Yu, another maintainer who participated in the GitHub README project. He started an open source project called Vue with the intention of building a simple JavaScript library that he could reference to improve his own efficiency. He never intended to be a full-time open source maintainer, but you can guess where this story is heading. That's exactly what he does today. When he open sourced his project, people started using it. The community adopted his idea, built on it, and ultimately helped it evolve into a thriving global community of maintainers, contributors, and users. One thing I love about Vue is that Evan's vision for the project is to give any user a low barrier of entry, a good foundation, and room to grow. He said that the ideal user is someone who just got into web development, and they are intentionally designing a way for folks to start building without an understanding of how front-end development works. It's this mindset that can have a huge impact on lowering the barrier of entry for new developers to open source. Vue began with the foundation of a single contributor and has evolved to become an integral part of developer workflows. And best of all, it is now fully funded by the community it serves. The potential of the community is absolutely massive and every project, every commit is a building block that the next 50 million developers will be able to learn from and build on. So we all need to focus on getting more people to that first commit because of course, that's where it all starts. So we've talked about the impact that open source can have on Sonia and other people's lives. And we've talked about the value of a commit. Let's talk about money. The growth of the open source community also has real economic impact. According to Corn Ferry Institute, Demand for skilled workers will outstrip supply in the next 10 years, resulting in a global talent shortage of more than 85.2 million people. If left unchecked, the financial impact of this talent shortage could reach more than $8.4 trillion in unrealized annual revenue by 2030. This is the equivalent to the combined GDPs of Germany and Japan. Obviously, these numbers are for a broader group than just developers. This is all skilled jobs, but an increasing number of those jobs will require technical fluency, if not straight coding skills. Open source will play a key role in closing this gap and in doing so has the power to help accelerate emerging economies. Let's take a look at one incredibly inspiring program related to this. Laboratoria is a social entrepreneurship project in Latin America that trains women who have been unable to start careers in web or UX design. The organization then connects these women with companies and helps them launch a career in tech. Since its inception, Laboratoria has trained over 1,600 women and 78% of them have started technology careers across 17 industries. That kind of success can have a huge impact on a local economy. Here's the story of one woman whose life changed thanks to Laboratoria. Shireni Azcaraga is from Puebla, Mexico. She had to leave a career in music that she loved. She started walking and training neighbors' dogs to make a living in order to support her family. She applied and was accepted to the Laboratoria training program where she trained as a UX designer. 
She is now a web developer who draws on her experience in the arts and in dog training to guide users through a well-orchestrated application experience for the program. I share this story because there are several things I've talked about today that form the bigger picture of the opportunity ahead. We need the next 50 million developers to continue to carry the open source community forward and to create the software we'll depend on in the future. There is so much untapped talent all over the world, and so many people are seeking opportunities to improve their lives through professional achievement, financially, or often both. That talent has the potential to have lasting positive impact, not only on the lives of individuals, but on innovation and economic growth, both locally and more broadly. But to get there, we must continue to remove barriers. In Major League Hacking's most recent census, which is a survey of almost 100,000 collegiate hackathon participants, almost 62% of respondents said that they had not contributed to open source yet. Among them, close to 92% believe that contributing to open source in the future will be important for their career. The main thing holding them back is that they feel like they don't know how to get started or they aren't skilled enough. Organizations like Laboratoria and The View Project are doing amazing work, bringing more people into tech and open source and lowering barriers to get started. There are so many ways we can all get involved in paving the way for new developers to join the open source community. I picked a few great examples, but this is far from an exhaustive list. These projects and platforms are always seeking supporters, financial sponsors, and mentors to fuel their growth. I encourage you to get involved in one or more if you're not already, whether that's shining a light on the work they do, supporting them financially, or acting as a mentor for folks going through their programs. How you can help is by thinking about the global nature of the developer community. Build your projects and communities with the needs of developers around the world in mind. Ask yourselves, do you need to change anything for your software to be useful for people in emerging economies and mobile first markets? What about places without fast internet? What about your community? Is it welcoming to new developers, those from different backgrounds and parts of the world? And of course, how do you think about accessibility and building tools for many folks, as many folks as possible? There's lots of food for thought here and a lot of great talks by others on many of the details around building our projects and communities to be inclusive and accessible. What started with a small group of academics and researchers back in the 50s and 60s and led to the free software movement in the 80s and the launch of the open source movement in the 90s is now a community of 50 million people whose efforts and contributions have helped define the world as we know it today. Because of you, the pace of new software development is blazingly fast, with components for almost anything readily available. Because of you, there is an abundance of exceptionally high quality software freely available. And because of you, people around the world can learn from the vast array of knowledge and best practices shared openly helping pave the way for new contributors to open source. It took decades to grow the community to this size. With your help, in just the next few years, we'll pave the way for the next 50 million developers so that open source can continue to be a key source of innovation, global collaboration, and engine of human progress. Here's to being 100 million strong. Thanks for all you do, and thanks for being here today.